All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So I wanted to make a video about the evolution of Phil Heath from the beginning of his bodybuilding career and even before that in his basketball career all the way up until present day, his seven-time Mr. Olympia reign. Here in 2018, Phil Heath is going for his eighth Mr. Olympia win, which will tie him for the record of all-time most Olympia wins with Ronnie Coleman and, of course, Lee Haney. Now, Phil Heath has been a pretty polarizing Mr. Olympia winner. A lot of fans love him and a lot of fans dislike him. Um, and for that reason, he's created a lot of controversy with some of his Olympia wins, including his most recent win in 2017, where the major criticism levied against him by fans and critics of the sport um, was the bubble gut issue that he came in with the 2017 Olympia, which was a pretty distended gut and still managing to pull off the win against Big Rami, who took second. So despite his current standing with the fans and despite the fact he's a polarizing figure in bodybuilding, it cannot be denied that Phil Heath has some of the greatest genetics for the sport of bodybuilding and will go down in history as one of the greatest bodybuilders ever. Regardless of how some fans feel about the more recent Olympia wins of Phil Heath, it's pretty much undeniable that early on in Phil Heath's career, um, maybe the first two or three Olympias, he was a very dominant champion and had an almost perfect physique. Now, prior to his interest in bodybuilding, Phil Heath actually had an interest in basketball, um, playing varsity basketball in high school, then going on to play basketball for the University of Denver. But as he realized that wasn't going to pan out for him just due to his height and due to the skill that he had, he started to pursue bodybuilding in roughly 2003, and his rise to the pro ranks would be actually relatively quick. And Phil Heath's potential as a bodybuilder was very noteworthy early on, and who can forget the story of Phil Heath meeting Jay Cutler backstage at one of Phil Heath's early uh, amateur shows. And Jay Cutler said to him upon meeting him, this guy is going to win the Mr. Olympia someday. So Phil Heath's amateur bodybuilding career would span only a short two years from 2003 to 2005, where he would finally turn pro at the 2005 NPC USA Championships, where he won the heavyweight category and the overall. Now, Phil Heath would make his pro debut in 2006 at the Colorado Pro Bodybuilding Show, and this would be an interesting foreshadowing of things to come because this would be the first time that Phil Heath and Kai Green would share a pro competitive bodybuilding stage. Phil Heath winning the show and Kai Green not doing nearly as well, placing 13 places behind Phil Heath coming in at 14th place. Um, so Phil Heath was very impressive right off the bat as a pro, winning his pro debut, and he would go on to do a major pro show that same year in 2006 at the New York Pro, which is arguably the third biggest show in bodybuilding behind the Arnold Classic and the Mr. Olympia, and Phil Heath would win that show as well, again, beating Kai Green, who did not even place at the 2006 New York Pro. So really back then, you know, Phil Heath was extremely dominant. I don't think a lot of people really saw the rivalry coming which started around 2012 of Phil Heath versus Kai Green for one and two at the Olympia, because at this time, Phil Heath was actually miles ahead of Kai Green, despite the fact that Kai Green at the time was older than Phil Heath. So even as a young bodybuilder, Phil Heath showed tremendous promise um, for what would come in the future, winning two major pro shows his rookie year as a pro bodybuilder. Then if you fast forward just two years to 2008, he had won another major bodybuilding show, which would be the Ironman Pro, taking second that same year at the 2008 Arnold Classic to Dexter Jackson. Then that same year in 2008, his Mr. Olympia debut, his first Mr. Olympia competition ever, he places top three behind Dexter Jackson and Jay Cutler. So talk about making a statement on the Mr. Olympia stage, your first Olympia ever cracking the top three. That is a major accomplishment for any bodybuilder. And again, despite the fact that a lot of people dislike Phil Heath today, you cannot argue that Phil Heath is one of the best bodybuilders to ever do it. Now, I do agree his most recent Olympia win in 2017 was a controversial one, but I still think at the end of the day, Phil Heath did deserve that win. He could have looked better. His waist could have been smaller. His gut could have been more controlled. I agree with all those things. Um, but still, I think at the end of the day, Phil Heath deserved to come out on top of that Olympia. And we will see in 2018 if he will repeat um, and win that eighth title. Now, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I think I have just as much reason as anybody to be biased or to dislike Phil Heath. Phil Heath has me blocked on Instagram for whatever reason. I have no idea. I've never really said anything negative about him that I don't think was true. I've mentioned the bubble gut thing before. Obviously, you know, it's something that we can't really deny. It was there. It was certainly an issue, and it certainly was present at the 2017 Olympia. But on many occasions, I've praised Phil Heath and said he was a dominant, um, just really good Olympia champion. So no matter what you guys think about Phil Heath as a person, no matter what you think about his most recent Olympia appearance, no matter what you think about his personality, 
I think as a bodybuilder, and if you look back at his track record, he is one of the greatest IFBB Pro bodybuilders of all time. Now, Phil and Kai Green would go head-to-head -head again at the 2010 Arnold Classic, and this would be the only time that Phil Heath would be beaten by Kai Green from this point forward. Now, Kai Green would beat him at the 2010 Arnold Classic. Phil Heath would take second. And that's an interesting thing to note about Phil Heath's career is despite the fact that he's competed in the Arnold Classic several times, he has never won an Arnold Classic Ohio title. Now, I was actually at the 2010 Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio, and I remember watching Phil Heath and Kai Green go head-to-head, -head, and Phil Heath actually did look very impressive at that show, and I think he really did push Kai Green. And again, this was another foreshadowing of the Phil Heath and Kai Green legendary rivalry. I mean, it goes back to his pro debut going head-to-head -head with Kai Green. So that's why, like I said, I think this is one of the most legendary rivalries in bodybuilding history all the way back in 2006 all the way up until now, 2018, people are still talking about the rivalry between Phil Heath and Kai Green. So I do have an interesting story um, from the 2010 Arnold Classic. I was actually backstage at that Arnold Classic and I was back there um, in the pump up room. So if you guys don't know what the pump up room is, it's essentially, there's like an area backstage. They've got weights, they've got gym equipment, they've got bands, they've got mirrors for the bodybuilders to pump up and pose and just kind of get warmed up and get some blood in their muscles before they go hit the stage. So backstage, uh, I saw Phil Heath. And at the time, I was a very big fan of Phil Heath. He was on all the magazines at the time. He hadn't won an Olympia yet, but he still was a very popular, very well-known bodybuilder back in 2010. Um, so I saw Phil Heath go to the other area backstage. It was like a little bathroom backstage. So I went in after him. I used the urinal next to him. He was, he was taking a piss. I used the urinal next to him. And then as he was walking out of the bathroom, I said, can I get a picture with you? And I remember it being extremely awkward because he had his headphones in. Um, you know, he was kind of getting in the zone for the competition. And I was just a 15, 16 year old kid, you know, fanboying over Phil Heath in the bathroom. So at the time I didn't realize how awkward that really was. But looking back, I'm like, man, what was I thinking? I mean, that's gotta be the, kind of weird for a bodybuilder. Probably one of the weirdest places a bodybuilder has been asked uh, for a picture with a fan. Um, so I'm sure Phil Heath probably remembers that incident. He probably just doesn't know that it was me. But that same year in 2010, Kai Green wouldn't be so lucky against Phil Heath. And uh, Phil Heath would take second at the Olympia. Jay Cutler would win that Olympia. Then 2011, Phil Heath would win his first Olympia and the rest would be history. Winning every Olympia since then up until 2017. Making him the current Mr. Olympia champion and seven-time Mr. Olympia, tying him with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So now here we are in 2018, and Phil Heath is going for his eighth title, um, possibly making him one of the greatest Mr. Olympias of all time, and certainly making him a record-holding Mr. Olympia if he does, in fact, get that title, again, tying him with Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney. So my question for you guys upon ending this video is regardless of how you feel about Phil Heath as a person, what do you think his chances are of winning that eighth Mr. Olympia title. Let me know in the comment section below and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.